on guys and welcome back to Clever's Multiverse. And for today's video, what I want to do is I want to try to gauge the top five figure releases for Marvel Legends for 2024 so far. A couple of quick rules. We have a lot of legends that have been announced but have not been released yet. So I'm only talking about figures that have been released and distributed and we have the possibility of having them on hand. If they have not been out yet, if they're scheduled for later in the year, then that's going to make it for the top of 2024 at the end of the year. And with that being said, I got a couple of honorable mentions. Unfortunately, Warbird or Miss Marvel did not make the list. I really love this figure. I just did a review on it and I have it up on my shelf. But man, the competition this year is fierce. I'm just saying it is what it is. If Warbird didn't make the list, you know I got some better stuff coming up. I really love this figure, but I just couldn't do it. Astonishing X-Men Wolverine is another one that I would have thought would have made it. But when I started going through the list, I was like, damn, you know. And part of it is because we get so many releases from Wolverine. Plus at the top of the year, we had all the box sets. Plus who doesn't have more than double digit Wolverines? I just didn't feel comfortable putting them in that top list as of yet starting off the countdown with number five and that's gonna have to go to angel now this is a figure that i've wanted for a long time i do have the toy biz angel i do have arc angel but this angel right here was needed i really appreciate this figure this is one of the figures that you kind of need for your x-men display even if you have the other ones the toy biz one is kind of outdated the hands look funky the shoulders are messed up you know we got a lot of things going on with that one right there but this one when i opened it out the box i was like yes this is what it is when i did my review on this and i put it next to the other toy biz one yeah i wasn't too impressed with the old school one no more you know this is the one that i wanted to move forward with i got on my phoenix saga shelf and i think that anybody who's looking to put their x-men team together is gonna need this particular angel plus i like the fact that he came in red because you know i'm tired of the blue one we always get in the blue one the red one is where it's at and this is number five on my list it's well put together. It articulates well. The paint job is flawless, at least on mine. I also think it's funny that a character with such a minuscule power makes such a presence on the shelf. I mean, all he can do is fly, but those wings are everything. And like every time I look at my shelf, my eyes go straight to him first. Number four for me is going to Scarlet Spider. I mean, I've wanted this figure for a long time and I had to wait a while to get my hands on him. And I bought this whole entire wave, not just because of this guy, but because I wanted the wave. But at the end of the day, this was my my favorite spider-man or just favorite character that came from the whole wave at the top of the year in my opinion this scarlet spider came out a lot better than the last one that was done this is also the only figure that i bought two of since the year started everybody else i've been getting singles but for this one i was like nah i gotta get two of these i just have a feeling about this guy right here and you know i'm not even mad at that this is probably the only non-peter parker spider-man that i go crazy for because the character is just that lit to me i mean even when i play spider-man 2 on the ps5 I'm continuously picking this costume. It's between this one and the Black Symbiote costume. Originally, I thought that this character would score higher on the list, but like I said, 2024, the competition is fierce. So yeah, this is where he's landing. Number three is gonna have to go to Cable. And this is the only character on the list that I was not able to pick up this year. I'm a little bit salty about that. But then again, if I had to pick over, then I probably would let this one slide only because I needed all the other ones that I was able to snatch up. This figure dropped right when X-Men 97 Animated was popping and Cable was on that show. And yeah, we already know. This costume is also the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 costume. And you know, if you see my videos, you no, I got the whole arcade one up Marvel vs. Capcom 2 in my room. So, of course, I appreciate this character. This character is very well done. We haven't had a cable in a minute. And the last one that came out, I believe, was the cable for the Deadpool 2 movie. And that's the movie version. That's the Fox version of cable. That is not a comic accurate version. This is more like a video game accurate version, but I'll take it all day. This is a really nice figure. I mean, there's a reason why he sold out. He's like the only character from the entire wave that you cannot pick up right now. And there's a reason for that. Number two is going to my boy Sabretooth. And let me tell you, this figure right here is bananas. I don't care what nobody says. This was like my favorite figure of the year for like four months. There's no way you're going to tell me that this figure is not popping, especially if you had the last Sabretooth. I remember the last Sabretooth was going for over $100 dollars. Don't ask me why, but it was going for like over $100 at certain points. When this figure came out, that last Sabretooth dropped like a rock. What I really like about this Sabretooth is the fact that he is so much bigger than Wolverine. The last one, 
it was like not really that big. This one is big enough that he could pick up Wolverine by his neck and it looks like, yeah, that's what's happening. And the figure is strong enough to actually hold him up. Like I literally have had this one holding up the Wolverine that came with him just freestanding, just leaning him back. The figure is strong enough to do that. The only gripe that I have with this figure is the fact that I had to buy another Wolverine just to get it. But then again, there is a reason why this is the only box set that sold out and everything else is in the stores. And if you haven't guessed it already, number one is going to the Danny Catch Ghost Rider. This figure right here is amazing. I don't care what nobody says. And yeah, most of it has to do with the bike. But yeah, this figure pops on the shelf like no other. This figure is so official to me that I made space in my cabinet and took other figures out just to put him and Johnny Blaze in there because I really needed them to stand out. Plus, he was blocking the characters behind him with the bike doing the wheelie so that really wasn't helping me on my shelf but this character right here at the end of the year i wouldn't be surprised if he's number one on a lot of people's top 10 list because i think he's just that good ghost rider is one of those characters that like people kind of forget about sometimes but he's like on everybody's list i've never met a person that's like nah ghost rider suck i've never heard that a lot of people love ghost rider and if you have the johnny blaze one and you put this one next to johnny blaze you start feeling some type of way about the way the Johnny Blaze one came out about the underbite about everything about it the only gripe that I had with this figure that I said also in my review was the fact that I felt like he was a little bit smaller than some of the other figures that have been coming out but I also said that I think that's why he fits so perfectly on the bike is just because he's a tad bit smaller than Johnny Blaze but besides that this is my number one figure of the year so far and I have a feeling that he's gonna hold on to that baton. So those are my top five Marvel Legends for the first half of 2024. Let me know in the comments do you agree or do you feel like somebody else should have made the list? It's been a great year for Marvel Legends so far but I have a feeling because I'm looking at everything else that's coming out for the rest of the year. I have a feeling that these figures are gonna stick to where they at pretty much. They might drop down one or two but I have a feeling that this is where it's at and all we're gonna do is add five more to the list. But yeah, let me know what's going on. Until next time. Peace.